Hello everybody, welcome back to the Ultimate Survival World. Today I'm going to be making an automatic sorter in my gold farm, and I'm also going to be- Actually, scratch that. I lost, like, most of the recording when my OBS crashed, so I basically don't have any recording of me making the actual gold sorter. So, let's build a raid farm. Fight. 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 This here is the material list for the bottom trident killer where I get the bad omen effect. And not gonna lie, this was honestly the easiest part of the farm. I need some glass, make a hopper, take a trident, grab some redstone, make a piston, and shove all those materials into a shulker box. I also enchanted the trident to MP5. Once you have all the materials, you're good to build the actual trident killer which is the smallest part of the farm and it took that long to get all the materials so this is gonna be a long night and now it's done it's almost like that was a middle second for you but for me that was about four hours of terrible work and figuring out spawns on an outpost in bedrock edition anyways let's get up to the upper raid farm these are the materials needed for the upper raid farm and i'll spare you getting all these materials so i'll just do this and i build up by 40 blocks And now I have to make whatever this shape is. And now I extend it. And now it's time to build the upper raid farm. This was the hardest part of the farm because I needed most of the materials and it was the most time consuming. The killing chamber is definitely one of the most complicated parts of the farm and my brother and his girlfriend had already logged off so I was going to have to do this all by myself. There would need to be an entire new trident killer for up top as well. As you can see I'm placing leaves here so mobs don't spawn on the killing platform where I'm going to be sitting and waiting collecting XP and also just AFK. After that was done, it was time to do the raid chamber where the mobs would spawn, the ravagers would be put into lava, and the rest of the enemies would be put into my trident killer, where I would get lots of emeralds and lots of totems. And now it's time to do the walls. Now it was time to add the water. Place some signs. Place some leaves. Now it was time for the lava blade. And a quick trident killer later. Came phase three. Do I need to say anything else? Yes, okay. I need to get this villager from my home base, which is quite far away, and I have to move him all the way up onto the raid farm, which is about 50 blocks up. And I'm gonna have to do this on a sketchy little staircase using leads and boats and water. This is sure to be fun. No. Come on. Dude.
dude. I was rethinking my life decisions. Why was I playing this silly little block game trying to get this villager up in a raid farm? Why? What was the point of any of our builds in this world? What was the point of playing the game? I still don't know. I could be doing a hundred thousand different things right now. I could be doing something, but no. Putting a villager up in a raid farm. Why? <laughs> Just a link, man. That took way too long, but there's the basic design of the raid farm. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, wash my hands and wash my face, because I'm a little greasy boy. I've played this block game for like 9 hours straight now. I've been doing this so long, I'm balding, you know? And then I waited, and I waited a little more, until I came to realize that it wouldn't work at all. And then I reverted to the comment section. It is good to mention that I did get a couple raids during this, but not enough to warrant the amount of work that went into it. I knew something was wrong. Please work. Please. I'm a big bag hunter with the bow. She got a big bed, number drop below. Mama called me and she happy with the girl. I've been playing this block game for so long now. Alright, hang on, turn the music down. Uh, the raid farm just started magically working after I did nothing. So, uh, I guess the problem was something weird. But I guess I'll never know. Yes, I could finally get off the block game. And it was done. So that's how I built an ultimate raid farm in my survival Minecraft world. Hey, if you're new here, the other episodes are posted right here and here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.